In this video, I'm going to talk you through five tools that every digital nomad needs. And the first one is a decent quality laptop. Now, this will be the most important tool in your toolbox, so don't skimp on this. And it's a good idea to stick with a well-known brand as this will make it easier to get it repaired if it breaks, which does happen sometimes. Now, your laptop computer needs to be robust. It needs to be lightweight and portable because, after all, you're going to be carrying it around all the time. It needs to have a long battery life because you might not be able to plug it in, especially if you're traveling. It needs to have good storage or hard drive space. And this is very important because you may need to store everything on your computer for long periods of time because you might not be able to rely on Wi-Fi everywhere. So you do need to make sure that you've got that capacity on hand. Mac, Windows or Linux stroke Chromebook? Well, that's up to you. And it depends a lot on your personal preference and what you intend to use it for. Macs are more sophisticated and better for graphics, but they're also more expensive. Windows laptops have more variety and there's more software available, especially now Windows 10 has come out. And Chromebooks are cheaper, but they're of limited use. But if you're going to be doing lots of writing on the road and not a lot else, a Chromebook could suit you down to the ground. Now let's take a look at some good laptops that are recommended for nomads. Now I'm using Amazon.com for all this, but it's a good idea to shop around and find the best deal in your country or where you happen to live because you might be able to find a very good deal out there. OK, let's look at uh, some of the computers here. If you're looking for you know, just a basic Chromebook, then something like the Acer is very good. As you can see, it's quite reasonably priced and it has quite a good Intel Celeron quad core processor. And it's nice and light. And if all you're going to do is word processing and checking your emails and maybe watching the old video, then this is perfect for that uh, particular purpose. You want to go up a bit more than uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. It's probably a very good thing to get. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's got an i5 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte hard drive. And you can uh, see it is actually a bit more expensive, but again, very good value when you consider exactly what it is that you're getting. If you need to do some fairly heavy duty works uh, on the road, then a proper, as I call it, a proper laptop is probably the best thing to get. Something like the Apple MacBook Air or the Dell Inspiron 7000 series uh, all work very well and they're all quite robust and can handle all sorts of stuff from writing to graphics to video editing and that sort of stuff. You'll also need a good smartphone. And the reason for that is there are many apps that can make life easier on the road. Now, when you're choosing a smartphone, you want to make sure that it gets at least 3G. Now, 3G is fairly widespread throughout the world, but 4G and 5G are fairly limited to large towns and cities in uh, fairly well-established countries. So what you should do is get one that does at least 3G because then you'll be able to connect in more places. You also want to have one that's got Bluetooth so that you can connect your laptop to the internet when there's no Wi-Fi. Should you get a Windows, an iOS or an Android smartphone? Well, again, it's up to you, and a lot of it comes down to personal preference and to budget. A good place to look for a smartphone is on eBay, and you can generally pick up a very good deal there, and it allows you to drill down and find the particular type of uh, smartphone that you want. Now, when you do buy a smartphone, be sure to get one that's unlocked, and that means you're not tied to any particular network.
And this can come in very handy if you're going to be in a country for any length of time. You can get a SIM-only deal or a pay-as-you-go SIM for making local calls and receiving local calls. And you can actually redirect your main number through to your new local number. And it can work out quite economical that way. You're also going to need a backup drive. And this is important that you have this and keep it separate from your laptop because if your laptop breaks or gets lost or stolen then you won't lose all your data and you also want to back up programs as well so it's a good idea to get one that's got a pretty decent storage capacity again eBay is probably the best place to look for this piece of kit be sure to get one that you can power from the USB port that way you don't have to worry about having the correct power transformer or that sort of thing. You might also want to consider cloud storage. Now, with cloud storage, your most important files can be kept completely separately from your laptop. And it's also easy to deliver work to clients that way because you can simply give them the link on your cloud storage and they can download it at their leisure. There are a number of different uh, cloud storage facilities out there. Probably the most popular one is Amazon S3. And you can find out more at aws.amazon.com forward slash S3. It does come with a certain amount of free space, which is generally all right just for passing on docs or for backup storage. After that, you do have to pay, but the pricing is quite reasonable. And you can host it in different countries as well, depending on where you're traveling. So you can have it in Ireland or Australia or the US. So it is quite flexible in that way. Then we have the Microsoft Cloud, which you can find out about at cloud.microsoft.com. Again, both free and paid for versions uh, of this and this does sometimes come uh, as an add-on with Microsoft Office 365. So if you have that, you might already have Microsoft Cloud. Then there's G Suite by Google Cloud. This is a paid-for service, but as you can see, the prices are very reasonable. And also there's Google Docs which is good for sharing documents. So if you're writing, then you can simply upload it to Google Docs and share it with your client that way. And this particular service is free. And finally, you want to get some downloadable software or software that's accessible online. And again, if something happens to your laptop, and you lose all the software as well. You don't have to carry around backup disks with you. You don't have to carry around the DVDs. And you can simply update the software all the time. And some popular choices are Microsoft Office 365, which you can read about at products.office.com. And the Adobe Creative Cloud, which you can find out more about at adobe.com. Now, these are both paid for solutions and they require internet connectivity to work properly. So you might also want to get some open source office software that you can download onto your laptop and use. Uh, good ones to go for are Apache OpenOffice, which you can find here at openoffice.org and its offshoot LibreOffice, which you can find here at LibreOffice.org. And the great things about these is they are free, so you don't have to pay out for them. And of course, you can download the software from the internet, so you don't have to carry around any uh, CDs or DVDs with the software on it. And I'll let you into a little secret. I'm actually using LibreOffice Impress to make the graphics for this video. So there you go, five tools that every digital nomad needs. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.